Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos from the usual place of Enfield Island Village. It's Saturday the 4th of September 2021. So I've just started my shift so we'll just have a quick walk round. See what's going on up here. <coughs> Some poor sod's got himself a tea bus look. T247, no idea if that's any good or not. We'll just turn this thing off. Because the noise is uh, way too much. So T247, he can suffer that. My colleague there can suffer DW410. That's a slow old thing. It doesn't like hills, not in the slightest. But then mine is not much better, DW416. But it's definitely better than uh, DW410. Not sure if I've shown you the duty card for this before. But this is a nice little shift. If you look here, where it's highlighted in green, 1722. So I've just started, I've come up to Island Village. I'll sit here till six o'clock. When I get to Turnpike Lane at 1914, the bus is finished with, and I run it back out of service to Ponder's End. And it's quite a long meal break here. So that's, what's that? One hour, 20 minutes meal break, which is good. So on the way back, when I'm running back dead, I shall pull over somewhere, jump out of the cab, can't use your phone in a cab, and I'll order myself, I think, fish and chips tonight via Uber Eats. Order it about 15 minutes before I get back to Ponder's End. They normally take about 25 to 30 minutes to deliver, so then I shouldn't have to wait too long for the food to turn up. So we'll just have a quick walk through the bus. I see the Metro litter bin has been put to good use. It's normally full of rubbish newspapers, but today it's got KFC inside. One thing I do like is uh, the Arriva colour scheme inside. It is uh, quite pleasing. I've just heard that uh, DW410 is now starting up, so I guess that means the T-Bus is my leader. Well, he can keep that. No telling these days whether the T-Buses are fast or slow. I had T237 the other night, now that was a nice bus, that was fast. But uh, they're doing something to them now which is making them slow. Um, so I don't know why, it's like trying to do the job with your hand tied behind your back. Quick walk down the upper deck. Somebody's left some glasses. Oh, they look like just a cheap pair of sunglasses, so I don't suppose they're particularly important. More rubbish on the floor. And so there goes DW410. It's better than it used to be. It used to be really slow even on the flat. But it's not too bad on the flat now. It just doesn't like hills. We've got so many buses here now that are just so slow. You don't need top speed. They govern, most of them are governed now at, at 42 mile an hour or 43 mile an hour. That's not a problem. You don't need a higher speed than that. But you do expect when you pull away for the bus to hold the gears and build up speed properly. And unfortunately, a lot of our buses these days don't do that. Which kind of, as I say, it kind of makes the job difficult. And I really don't know why they do it. It's, it can't be a safety thing because it's just how a bus should be. If your car didn't pull away properly, didn't build up through the gears, you get it fixed. But there you go. Anyway, I think that brings about the end of this little video, about a five minute video, nothing much going on, just uh, checking in from Island Village. Because it's not something I've done 
for a little while. Anyway, uh, I've got uh, three weeks annual leave coming up from uh, mid-September, so you can expect, hopefully, for me to get out and about and uh, go to one or two different locations and get some more videos. That's it for now. You all take care. Catch up with you again soon.